Yo YouTube, GK's back with another manga anime video. It's been a while, I know, I know, I say that a lot, but I've just been feeling kind of uninspired lately. One thing that always gets me back into creativity and art is manga and anime. I've always been a fan of this, back before it was popular, I might add. And it's so good to see that anime and manga has finally kind of matured with the audience who love shonen in particular. As I got older, I've always kind of noticed the really, really outlandish, but with these three, by the first two episodes, you can tell that this is doing something different. These are trying to tell a different story from a mature angle from the onset, and it just feels so right and so good for the genre. I am late to Hell's Paradise, but it has quickly and easily moved into one of my favorites, along with Jujutsu Kaisen, and of course, Chainsaw Man. Yo, it's the Grown Kid Talk Show. start off with the meatiest topic of this video and the one that probably is going to raise a couple eyebrows. Jitsu Kaisen is really falling off and falling off hard. That doesn't mean I don't love the anime and especially fell in love with the manga, which this conversation is really geared about and toward, but it is not hitting the way it should or I feel like it should be hitting considering the great start it got off to and the world itself being very rich with things that could be done within it and yet somehow we've arrived at this point. It's like what are you doing? I have covered this story a couple times. Jujutsu Kaisen manga to go on indefinite hiatus due to Geke Akami's health. This is old but I bring this up again just to say I don't believe that the health scares are not serious. Even though it was confirmed to not be a serious illness, I'm calling shenanigans on this. I do think there is something wrong, and I can see it by the artwork and the storytelling for the last several months with JK. I can't honestly, in good conscience and good faith, say that JK has been living up to the hype as it is right now. I can say, however, it has been living off that hype. I hope Gege's health is good and he can be in good spirits, but it seems very clear that he's not or something else is wrong and they don't want to worry us and tell us. I think the fans are kind of owed a little bit more of an explanation here, right? We support the creator, we support the teams, we genuinely have a passion for this manga and anime, and we just want more answers and clarity, because I can tell you the latest chapter of JK was a gigantic disappointment. And I'm going to get a little bit more in depth here, chapter 159 in particular, Judgment, the latest chapter, is very, very misplaced in my opinion and that's a very nice way to say it i detest the art style of this i didn't even know for the first like four or five pages i was reading jujutsu kaisen because it doesn't look good it looks unfinished it looks very rushed it just again leads credence to me believing something is wrong with jujutsu kaisen there are certain aspects to this chapter that i do like the social commentary on the judiciary system especially in japan where this anime and manga takes place is so strict and just so white and black it doesn't matter if they are innocent they are guilty if the public believes so i like that kind of stuff now it could be the artist trying something different and I'm not opposed to artists doing that. It just didn't hit, and I have pointed it out now because this is now the final example I need to come out and say something is missing from Jujutsu Kaisen. And in all honesty, again, this scene in particular, the people of the world of JK have now been made aware of cursed spirits. This is a cool idea because we rarely ever have seen a person use a cursed spirit in this kind of way to directly affect an outcome to which it's more of a public concern in the public eye a courtroom we've never seen it done like this and I and I don't mind it don't get me wrong but I don't believe the manga has set that up as part of the world and how that really goes down this could be a new thing for the world of JK this kind of usage of the spirits but I don't believe so I believe this was a one-shot and I think that's even more confirmed by the fact that the art style 
is completely different. This is a one shot. This is the final thing before the culling game. The culling game took like four chapters to explain and I still don't really understand it and I don't care to understand it. I don't necessarily like the culling game at all. I'm sure I will end up liking it in the future, but as it is right now, I am not a fan of the culling game. It seems a little forced and misplaced just like this chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> I've said this before, the pacing of Jujutsu Kaisen was so fast. I've always said, slow down. So you have so much here, so much material. And it seems like now they're finally catching up to that and throwing in filler. Because this is filler in the truest sense of the word. Filler, filler, filler. I understand the story, okay? The drunk driving guy attached to Rika, maybe, whatever, whatever, whatever. I think Jujutsu Kaisen needs to take a serious break this time. Refocus and find out where it wants to go and what it wants to do. Because right now, it seems very just put together on such a strong foundation that this kind of middle road is just getting lost and hazy. And I don't want to see that because I genuinely love JK, the characters, the story, the world but there have been very very big missteps and JK unfortunately due to those archaic systems of releasing a manga he can't afford to keep missing weeks and giving us these lackluster chapters with no real basis in the story it's trying to tell and don't get me started on Nobre Nobre the girl with the hammer I she better be dead all I'm saying, she better be dead, because I said from day one, she's a very uninteresting flat character, and if you bring her back and have showed no inkling to her coming back, that just proves the point, that she was really not worth it at all anyway. So leave her dead, let her have her moment of glory. JK, please, Gege, please, I hope you're in good health. Take your time and reestablish what JK is, because chapter 159 is not it, chief. The new one I've started reading, Hell's Paradise, is it. I love it. Now, let me say this really quickly. I have a bias because I really do love that Edo period style of manga and anime. A Peacekeeper comes to mind, if you guys know what that is. I'm only on chapter 66 or 67, but I love it. I love it. I love it. This is more mature than Chainsaw Man and Jujutsu Kaisen combined. The art style shows very explicit body parts that you rarely ever see in manga in general but a shonen. It feels like a mixture of the modern and that old school art style where they were unafraid and unabashed to show body parts that humans have. It is unedited and unfiltered and I love it. To give you an idea where I'm at, our dear Shugen has lost it. You don't know what this is or haven't heard of it. I'm going to give you a little breakdown now. It's a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Yuji Kaku. I do love the fact that manga and anime in general are usually written and illustrated by the one person. I, I just always love that as a creative. Set in the Edo period in Japan, it follows Ninja Gabi Maru and the executioner Yamada Azman Sagiri, which, let me, as an aside, one of the best manga I've read in recent memory that actually develop their female characters and are strong and powerful in a great way without losing the sex appeal that often happens in 2021 culture. They search for the elixir of immortality. It was serialized weekly for free on Shonen Jump Plus application and website from January 22, 2018 to January 25, 2021. The chapters were collected and published into 13 Takaban volumes. Viz Media has licensed the series for English release in North America. An anime television series adaptation has been announced and I am so excited about this. Let's look at that a little bit. The author can't even believe it, neither can I. I'm so excited. The one worry I have though, because it is so in your face explicit that it gets dumbed down. 
Hopefully it doesn't. I'm saying the same thing about Chainsaw Man and Jujutsu Kaisen hasn't really dumbed down that much. One of the best things JK has going for it is the quality of the anime and I know most anime can't get that kind of quality and I do know that Chainsaw Man is getting that top tier anime quality treatment. Hopefully they do the same with Hell's Paradise. And Chainsaw Man to round this off again really it's just be called Power Manga because Power is the best character in the whole manga and i thought we'd look at chainsaw man a little bit when the anime may come out and it might be coming this fall season mappa is going to do a great job with this we know that and if you don't know what chainsaw man's about you're missing out entirely entirely it's funny i think the pacing of chainsaw man outpaces both jutsu kaisen and hell's paradise entirely but it lives in that space and by the end, really bring the whole story together. It makes it all worth it, and that's why it's one of my big three now currently, because now it's getting good. And I love that when you play a game like Final Fantasy XIV, for example, you hit level 50, which was the level cap, and then the game gets good. So you put all of this work in, a lot of things you may not understand and wonder why, but it pays off and it's worth it. So check out Chainsaw Man. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know. Are these the next big three in Shonen? With the little asterisk there for mature audiences. Am I missing something? Do you have a suggestion? Let me know. I'm the grown kid. Thank you.